So what are you going to do? Ethan, you got to make up your mind about Gwen and Teresa. I know, I know. This is crazy. I mean, how did this happen? Choosing between them is not even something I should be considering, Chad. I've been losing control. I've been making love to Teresa. I am... I am going insane. <laughs> well, look, man, you wouldn't be so upset if you weren't such a... such a good guy. Thanks, but I feel like an idiot. I love my wife. I love our child together. What am I doing to myself? What am I doing to them? Look, man, stop beating yourself up. All right, a lot of guys have been in your situation. Even me. You. Yeah. Ethan. I know what it's like to love a woman, yet still have the urge to have someone on the side. Chad? You're having an affair? Baby, come on now. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not having an affair. Okay, we were just talking about two guys who get caught between two women. Yeah, but that's not what it sounds like, Chad. Look, I've got more friends than just Ethan who've had problems with women. I just know how they feel. Friends? What, what, you mean back in L.A.? Right. Oh. Well, good. I mean, they can stay there as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> You haven't just caught me off guard. I'm sorry. I know you've never had an affair. I'm sorry, honey. Of course not. You, on the other hand. Teresa told you, huh? Yeah, she did, Ethan. How could you do this? I mean, Lord knows Teresa is just capable of anything, but you. I thought you'd have better sense. I don't know what to say, Whitney. I know it's not like me, but... Okay, you're right. I mean, I, I, I'm too judgmental. I have no right to go off on you, but I care about you. And I care about Teresa, and hasn't there been enough hurt already? Yes, I know. I feel for you, for both of you, but unless you're willing to throw away your marriage, it has to. Uh, what has to stop?